Well, hello everybody. My name is Mr. Harbisher from Tees Valley Music Service, and I'm going to read you a short extract from my favourite childhood book, The Boy Next Door by Enid Blyton. I remember this book very well because when I was in year three, I'd read it at home and I, was, I told my class teacher, Mrs. Thomas, how good it was. And she asked if she could have a look at it and she ended up reading it to the whole class as our whole class storybook. And it was really funny because I knew what happened and everybody was desperate to know what happened next but I was a bit rotten and I wouldn't tell them. So I had to wait until the end of the book to find out what happened. It tells the story of three children, Robin, Betty and Lucy. And they realise that the house next door has been bought, it's been empty for a long while. And they hear a boy called Kit playing and he's with a lady, Miss Taylor, who is nicknamed the Dragon. Robin, Bettany and Lucy decide to go into the house and play a trick on him, but he tricks them instead and ties them up to a tree so that they can't escape. He's a bit naughty. So, I'll read you a little bit of it. Robin pulled hard at the rope that bound his hands. If only he could get free and untie the others. But it was no use at all. He couldn't undo the stiff knots. Then, he heard the sound of voices near the house. It seemed as if Kit had met someone. The children listened. Kit was coming back. I say, said, the dragon's back from her walk. She'll be furious if she sees you here in our garden. I'd better set you free. No, no, I shan't have time. She's coming to the summer house, look. Now listen, stay absolutely still and quiet and maybe she won't see you. I'll go and hide somewhere and hope to set you free when she comes back to the house. Kit disappeared into the bushes. Almost at once, a fierce looking woman appeared, carrying a book. The children's heart sank as she sat down, opening her book. They could not be seen from where the woman sat, so they all stayed as still as they could. Betty thought the name Kit had for her was very good. She really was fierce enough for a dragon. And then Lucy got a tickle in her throat. She hardly dared clear the tickle away, so she swallowed hard. But the tickle came back even worse. She swallowed again and then alas, she coughed. It was rather a big cough and it made the woman look up at once. Is that you, Kit, she said. There was no answer. Poor Lucy tried to choke back her next cough, but it came loudly, even though Robin frowned fiercely at her. The dragon got up at once. She came round a big bush and saw the three children tied to the trees. She stared at them in such amazement that Betty wanted to laugh. It seemed as if the dragon really and truly could not believe her eyes. Nobody said a word. Robin tried to look as if it was the most ordinary thing in the world to be tied to a tree in someone else's garden. And then the dragon found her voice. What are you doing here? she asked. How dare you come into my garden without permission? Who are you? Why have you tied yourselves up to my trees? We were the children from next door, said Robin. We came to play with the boy here. Then the woman said a most astonishing thing. Boy, she said, a boy here? There's no boy here at all. You must be mad. I shall complain to your mother about you. You are never to come here again. And as for there being a boy here, you are quite mistaken. Whoever told you that has not told you the truth. There is no child here at all. <laughs>